an all too familiar sight. Demonstrators taking to the streets in protest. Their target, a new labor law set necessary to create jobs, opponents argue it threatens them. Anger over this law has produced a series of protests and strikes aimed at bringing President Hollande's socialist government to its knees. It's also produced a new movement that calls itself Nuit Debout, or At Night on Our Feet. You've been waiting for this moment for three years? Nuit Debout represents the people who have become aware that the political system doesn't work anymore and that it's up to them to take back the political reins. There are many people who believe that the power of the Nuit Debout movement is that it's an agora, where public speech becomes public once again. This is another familiar sight, confrontations between anarchists and riot police. It's a violent message, but one nonetheless, of growing frustration that laws are being passed without listening to the people. After the demonstration, Euronews caught up with Nuit Debout at their headquarters at Place de la République. For this member, clashes at the end of the protest don't surprise him. These violent movements are inherent in all demonstrations. I've done a lot of protests and there are always these types of movements at the end. It doesn't particularly worry me. For Jules, like other Nuit Debout militants, this is what is important, giving a voice back to the people. Every day there's a general assembly where anyone can speak and voting is done by a raise of hands or a turn of wrist. Today the discussion centers around the protest and ongoing strikes. But there are also other committees and commissions focusing on a wide range of topics. At the Nuit Debout everyone is equal. There's no bonus for those who have been here the longest. There are people who have been here since the start. Some arrive later and some are still arriving. It's just a fact and it's not what determines who's the most important here. A movement of the people where everyone is equal and all ideas are welcome. And since it began two and a half months ago, Nuit Debout has mushroomed where almost anything or anyone can stand on his feet. Here in the Place de la République, there's orchestra on your feet, there's ecology on your feet, there's anti-trade on your feet, there's commissions, there's committees where everybody has a say. But without a leader or a political agenda, can Nuit Debout really have a social impact? To find an answer to this question, we went to Nuit Debout in Marseille to talk to this man, François Ruffin. He's the editor of a radical left newspaper, but also the author of a film many said helped launch Nuit Debout. The film Merci Patron, or Thank You Boss, is a modern David and Goliath story where Ruffin takes on France's richest man, Bernard Arnault, to help a couple who lost their jobs when their textile factory was relocated to Poland. Arnaud is head of the luxury goods group LVMH. With the couple facing the loss of their home, Ruffin devises a plan for the group's boss Arnaud to give them money. The film's message of righting the wrongs of social injustice helped launch the call for a new citizens' movement. But Ruffin says Nuit Debout was not a spontaneous movement. Throughout the pre-release screening of the film, Thank You Boss, you felt there was a lot of energy in the cinema. And at the end, people were asking, what can we do? And then someone said, look, at the end of the next demonstration against the labor law, let's occupy a square. And on the 31st of March, that's what happened. And the Place de la République was occupied. And this occupation started, by the way, with the screening of Thank You Boss. And Nuit Debout quickly 
quickly spread its democratic wings to other French cities and even beyond its borders. For this Nuit Debout member in Marseille, it's all about the people. For me, Nuit Debout is the citizens who take back the control. So with these citizens here, we have novels, theatre pieces. There's the film, Thank You Boss. Everyone takes part. There's lawyers on your feet. Lots of little things are happening. But I think that this world here, the intellectual one, needs to converge with the social world. That's important. I'm for taking politics one step at a time, but I know often there's this feeling of being powerless. The first thing is to show that sometimes we can win, and that's what we see in the film. It shows we can win against those who are powerful. Then people will say to themselves, well, maybe we're stronger than we thought, and they're weaker than we thought. The idea is to do this on a much larger scale, and that's what's being tried in this fight against the labour law. Taking politics one step at a time to win a social battle that has been brewing for a long time in France. But despite the fun atmosphere, there is a reality check. Can the battle be won without a political party? Since it started, Nuit Debout has been compared to other movements such as Occupy Wall Street, but especially Los Indignados in Spain, which went on to form a political party, Podemos. Gain Broussier followed Nuit Debout for several weeks and has written a book about this movement. Does Nuit Debout need a French political party à la Podemos? There are some in this movement who think a political party like Podemos is the worst thing that could happen to Nuit Debout. This is because at the heart of Podemos are the new radical left political parties which have betrayed the spirit of the indignados. In other words, one can change the world without taking power. Any aspiration of taking power is by nature a betrayal of the revolutionaries. There are others who believe the opposite, that the only way to change things is to enter into these institutions. Despite the citizens' outcry, the new labor law is expected to get its final government seal by the French Senate early July. Nuit Debout has vowed to occupy Place de la République until then and even after. But some worry that Nuit Debout has seen its moment in the night and maybe it's time that it goes to bed. I don't know if Nuit Debout will continue or not. I don't know how it will end or when. I just know that whatever happens after this, there will have been this experience which has allowed people to realize that they have something to say, that they have something to invest in the world of politics. Even if Nuit Debout fails, there will be other disputes in the future. People will remember what happened here and remember that they have power as citizens. So whatever happens to Nuit Debout in the days or weeks to come, we'll have already accomplished this. Giving power back to the people, and especially a voice. Something Europe's latest citizens' movement hopes their politicians will hear loud and clear. Oh,